In January, there is a very important event in Europe. It's the boot in Dusseldorf, a boat show with several things to see. In particular, today we are going to show you many world premieres, that is, boats that have not yet been seen in any other boat show. Please follow me. Il boot. boot, the Dusseldorf Boat Show, 2024 edition. An edition that gets off to a sparkling start, with a lot of people entering the gates. This is an indoor boat show, I mean, completely indoors. It consists of 17 pavilions, and all of them are crowded with visitors, even on weekdays. Here you can find everything, from sailing boats to motor yachts. There are dinghies, diving equipment, charters. There really is everything. As far as sailing is concerned, there aren't many boats, but most of the few boats that are here are really interesting. And what is more, most of them are world premieres. And this is what we wish to show you in this special issue, these world premieres. We came here because here is the only place where all these boats can be seen at once. You will not find them in other boat shows, such as in Genoa. So we have created this selection of eight boats, seven of which are world premieres, or in any case very recent models, and one is not. One is a boat that has been on the market for a few years now, but we chose it because we are sure that many of you will find it interesting. It's an oyster, and seeing an oyster above and below deck isn't easy. We have been able to make this special issue thanks to the collaboration and support of the NSES group a group that you know well, because it supports us in many of our works. The group consists of NESS Charter, which is the largest and most important charter company in Italy, and NESES Yachting, which is the leading European dealer for Lagoon Catamarans and one of the most important Italian dealers for Beneteau. NESES Yachting is also the branch of the NSES group that deals with management programs. Having said this, I will give the floor to NS's group for a few seconds and meet you shortly on board the first boat, the Du 444. When you think of a sailing holiday, think of us. Think NSS. We have always been working to offer you the best possible experience. Our company is a Binito importer and the first lagoon dealer in Europe. Our charter fleet offers boats that you won't find anywhere else. The newest, the biggest and the most gorgeous. If you want to go sailing, trust us. NSS Group Du 444. We are now on board the Du 444. With this boat, we start this special video about the 2024 edition of the boot. This is surely the most anticipated boat of the entire boat show. When Du 4 comes out with a new model, it always arouses a lot of interest. To talk about this boat, here is Giovanni Tarantino from Race Nautica, the importers of the brand in the entire west coast of Italy. Hi Giovanni. Hi Maurizio. Good morning and welcome to the boot. Thank you very much. Giovanni, we said it is a new boat. This is the third model of the new Du 4 generation. Right. Rightly so, I confirm. The novelty of this generation is that the Felsi firm is not the only designer any longer. In the past, the Felsi firm used to deal both with the water lines and with design, style, and interiors. Nowadays, on the other hand, Felsi designs the water lines and another designer is in charge of style and interiors. Such a division of tasks is being chosen by several large boat builders. The interiors and style of this boat are by the architect Luca Ardizio, who has already designed the Du 441. Again, together with Felsi, the 41 and now the 44 make him the official designer of Du 4. Okay, I would like to start with some data. How long is the boat? The hull is 12.23 by 4.45 meters. Its maximum beam is remarkable. Yes, a remarkable maximum beam that allows for a really Mediterranean-style cockpit. Large volume above deck, too. Large sun decks and relaxation areas. And then, thanks to Luca Ardizio, spacious and original interiors that you won't see on other boats. The standard version is equipped with a transversal galley, but you can also request a longitudinal galley, as we had already seen on the 41. The pictures we are seeing now are those of the 41. We said three-cabin layout, but is there also a two-cabin layout? No. 
there are only the three cabin and the four cabin layouts. As you can see, on your left side when you enter, you find a compartment that can be used either as a shower stall or a storage compartment, but it may optionally be turned into a third head. The four cabin layout has two forward and two aft cabins. So there is also a charter version, but may the owner's version be equipped with three cabins and three heads? Yes, three cabins and three heads. This is good. Last detail, the price. 297,000 euro for the version with the transversal galley and 1,000 euros more for the longitudinal galley. Thank you very much, Giovanni. With this, we have introduced you to the Du 444, and now we are going to see a much larger boat, the flagship of the show, the Hallberg Rassi 69. Please follow me. 80 years old, this is the age of the Hallberg Rassi shipyard, a shipyard that was founded in 1943, and today is taking part in the boot 2024 with its biggest flagship ever, the Hallberg Rassi 69. They had never built a boat this large, and we have the honor of having the owner of the shipyard, Magnus Rassi, here with us. His father founded the shipyard together with his partner Hallberg, and now Magnus is going to explain the boat to us. Hi Magnus. Hello Mauricio. Magnus, would you like to tell us about this latest creation of yours? Yes, it's the largest and greatest Halberassi ever built. It's a 69-footer that is easy to handle with effortless sailing. You can handle the boat even alone if you need to. And that makes it possible to handle a big, comfortable yacht with minimum crew. How many layouts are available for this boat? Well, almost endlessly. There are fixed positions for structural bulkheads, and there are many possibilities between that, and all for comfortable cruising sailing. Hallberg Rassi is famous for building offshore boats that are suitable for sailing anywhere. Correct. There is no limit. You can sail wherever in the world with this yacht. Just think that there is a very careful study of weights. Here weights are all concentrated as much as possible. Enter the engine room. In this boat, all instruments, all systems are there. It's really a pleasure to look at this engine room. And I like these things, so I always go and have a look. I know this is your own boat. Correct, it is. I always build the first boat for myself, so I can test it properly. Yes, exactly. So you can make sure that everything is in order, and I think customers fight to buy your own boat. Most of the time, yes. <laughs> yes I can imagine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Manus. You must be welcome. And so we had the pleasure of showing you the new Hallberg Rassi 69. Let's go and find out what else this boat show has in store for us. Now I'll take you to see a really gorgeous boat, a world premiere. It's the first show where it's being exhibited. This is the Arcona 50, built by the shipyard of the same name, a shipyard that is known for the very high quality of its boats and has recently started to make more and more modern models up to the Arcona 50, which you are now going see. You will soon understand why I'm telling you it is a gorgeous boat. We are on board the Arcona 50, a boat that I personally like very much. A boat designed by Niels Jeppesen together with Ariana, Ariadna Pons, who is here with me. Hi, Ariana. Ciao, Marisio. You all know Niels Jeppesen because he is the person who founded the X Yacht Shipyard and ran it for many years, designing all its models. And those boats have won everything. Today, Niels runs a design firm that he shares with Ariana. And this is one of the boats they designed, the first boat they designed for the Arcomina shipyard. May you describe this boat for us? Yeah, so the target of this boat was to design something that is very elegant and very beautiful to the eyes, but yet it's a cruising boat, it's a performance cruising boat, and it needs to be very comfortable when sailing and in a few people. So it's a crew handed um, sailing boat. People who have tried the boat told me that it is very fast. Yeah, it is very fast. We tested twice and I can ensure that uh, it's fast and enjoyable. Okay. I would like to talk about the interiors of this gorgeous boat. Yeah, so what we wanted to create a little bit is that when you go down below, you feel like you belong to the boat and you want to be there. So when you finish your day sailing, you are comfortable in a very 
easy looking boat, but also very useful boat, right? Because in a sailing boat, you need everything to be within reach, but you also want to feel that is open. So that contrast, it's a little bit uh, sometimes difficult, but I think that... Uh, this is a semi-custom boat. How can I tailor it for my needs? Yes, uh, so there is a little bit of things that you can personalize your boat. There is also different layouts. So if you want a more open layout uh, with the open galley, you can have that. And it's a L sofa, L port sofa. So it, you have a little bit of a corridor if you want. Or if you want a typical layout, if we say, like an enclosed galley, you can also have it. And you can have uh, different chart tables as well. Okay, when I buy this boat, I will ask you to design all the perfect customizations for me. Thank you very much, Ariana. Thank you. And so we have also shown you the Arcona 50. The list price of the boat, exclusive of VAT and options, is 975,000 euros, as you can read on the screen. Let's have a look at another boat. We are now at the Jano stand to see another world premiere. The Sun Odyssey 350, the latest model of the latest generation of Juno boats, those with ramped side decks. These ramps start from the planking level and gradually rise onto the deck. To talk about this boat I have here with me, Maurizio Pepe from Buena Onda, the Juno importer in Western Liguria. Hi Maurizio. Hi Maurizio. We are namesakes. We said the Sun Odyssey 350 is the latest model built by the French shipyard. Who designed it? Marc Lombard designed the hull and Jean-Marc Piaton the inner spaces. Okay, did Piaton design all the boats of this generation? Correct. He was the interior designer for this range from 2017 to the present. I remind you that this generation of boats started in 2017 with the 440 and 490. When it was introduced, it was a revolution because it was the first time we saw ramped side decks. What are the other features of the boat? The boat is 9.99 long and 3.59 wide, therefore wider than the 349, the model which has been replaced by the 350. As much as 15 centimeter wider. Correct. 15 centimeters. Your memory is excellent. And the sail area is around 54 square meters. The boat is available in a two cabin and a three cabin layout and it is possible to choose different interior colors, one head only. And a rather large salon, I see. A very large salon, and you can choose whether or not to install the chart table as an option. Excellent. Last detail, the price. The price, 132,700 euros, plus VAT plus options. Thank you very much, Maurizio. Thank you, Maurizio. Now let's take a short break and talk about charter management programs. A charter management program allows you to purchase a boat and pay half its price by sharing it with a charter company. Today, a very large proportion of the boats that we find on the market are being bought with this system. But these systems are changing, and we want to understand how and why they are changing. So we came to talk to NSS Charter, to its director Simone Morelli, because they are the largest Italian charter company, as well as one of the largest in Europe. So they certainly know a lot more about this topic than we do. Let's find out what they will tell us. Simone, in this boat show, during the filming of this special video, I talked to several operators of management programs. Nowadays, charter management programs have a prominent role as one of the most used purchasing systems. It is being used by a lot of buyers, but more than one of these operators told me that these programs are somehow changing. Would you like you explain these changes to us? Sure, Maurizio. Management programs have now evolved and are available in different types. Until a couple of years ago, the fixed income, i.e. the guaranteed income, was the mainstay of the management program because it was linked to an income that guaranteed a certain financial program for the ship owner, with established costs and revenues, and that income was used to pay the leasing installments, the amount of which depended on the down payment. But now, considering the high interest rates and the excessive increase in the cost of boats, an increase that has occurred over the last two years, it is more appropriate to opt for a so-called variable income management program. It is somewhat like a variable rate mortgage instead of a fixed rate mortgage. This can, of course, in time be replaced with a fixed rate management program, like the former systems, when interest rates will be back to normal. Once the contract has been signed, can it be changed back to a fixed rate? Yes, no problem. You can start with the variable rate and finish the contract with the fixed rate. So this change is in any case a temporary one, limited in time. Sure. 
As you said in the introduction, a management program is more and more often the gateway to boating. The newcomers to this world use the boat two weeks a year on average. For them, having it under management is the best solution for using it smartly and, above all, without having problems in wasting time for maintenance or keeping up with all the paperwork. Perfect. Thank you very much, Simone. We are now on board the Maxis 35 built by the Polish shipyard Northman, a shipyard that specializes in small boats, and after gaining much experience with boats under 9 meters, they broke the 10-meter barrier with this 35-footer, the Maxis 35, a model that was introduced in 2023 at the Cannes Spoke Show and gave them much satisfaction. The Maxis 35 has been sold in large numbers, especially in Spain. And this is why I have here with me Alfredo Perez, who is the importer of Maxis in Spain and is going to explain the boat to us. Hi, Alfredo. Ciao, Maurizio. E benvenuto a Maxis. Thank you very much. Alfredo, would you like to tell us something about this boat? The boat, this, this Maxis 35, is a um, very good solution in 3.4 meter by 10.70 meter, Maurizio. With this complete new design, Maxus has created two configurations with two and three cabins which fits perfectly either for charter version for the three cabins and for the families two cabins. The good thing here is that Maxus has a lot of experience also in charter. They have more than 100 boats in charter, so they have a lot of feedback of how to create a robust and solid uh, boat. Perfect. Oh, I know that this boat has a very good ratio. Which is the price of this boat? Uh, this price, uh, starting price is 144,000 euro before taxes. But uh, a real price, as it is today, ready for sale, can be even below 100. Exclusive VAT. Exclusive VAT, exclusive transport. But the good thing, Maurizio, about Maxus is that they have all the expertise in house, meaning that they have more than 100 workers, so they master the wood, the electronics the molding, meaning that all the option costs are also quite cost effective. That's why to price ratio of Maxus, which is uh, by far setting us apart in comparison with other shipyards. Okay, thank you very much, Alfredo. Grazie mille, benvenuto Maurizio. Thanks. And so, from Boot 2024, we have also shown you the Maxus 35. Now let's go visit the next boat. After seeing one of the small boats showcased at the boot, the Dusseldorf Boat Show, we are going to see another world premiere. This one has been built by the Hans Group, by Moody to be precise. It's the Moody 48 DS. To talk about the boat, I have here with me Filippo Matronola from Nottagama, the importers of the Moody brand in Italy. Hi, Filippo. Hi. Please tell us something about this boat. The 48DS, as already mentioned, is a world premiere here in Dusseldorf and is the natural offspring of the 45DS that has been produced from 2008 to date and of which 107 units have been made. So a great success that the 48 will certainly repeat. Just think that five orders have already been placed for this boat in these first few days of the show. Here we find again a one-level concept. I mean, the cockpit and the salon are on the same level to create an indoor and outdoor convivial space that only catamarans can provide. No other monohull on the market has these features. The key feature is that the boat can be sailed from the inside thanks to an engine lever, an autopilot and electronic instruments, and no single-hold sailing boat has this feature. This 48 is actually a 50-footer, with remarkable volume both in the salon and in the cockpit. The boat has a nice forward sun deck, very comfortable cabins, an innovative design compared to the former 45, modern and classic at the same time. So it is a combination of classic and modern style. Okay, and this is the first model of the second generation of Moody's DS. As Filippo said, the first was the Moody 45. This is its evolution, so a step forward. Now that we have seen the Moody 48 DS, let's go and see a giant of the boat show. Let's go and see the oyster. After the Moody 48 DS, I'm going to show you a really gorgeous boat built by a yard that is considered one of the best in the world, an English yard near Southampton, the Oyster. Let's see the 565. Come with me. Oyster 565, a really gorgeous boat. It is the only model among those we have shown you that has not been built within a year of today. 
This model is a few years old, but I want to show it to you because the oyster is a legend, so I am sure you are curious to see what such a boat looks like. To talk about the boat, I have the yard sales manager, Steve, with me, and he's going to explain it to us. Hi, Steve. Good morning, Mauricio. Would you like to tell us something about this boat? Yes, of course. So at the show this year, we've got a beautiful Oyster 565. This particular boat is finished in a beautiful walnut interior produced for this particular owner. So he's chosen the woods, the fabrics, some nice changes in the cabins, and he's going to do our world rally in, in 2026. So obviously very excited to see him sail off. This particular boat is going to have a refresh in the coming years and we're going to do some nice changes. We're going to put bigger hull port windows in. So those iconic seascape windows that everybody knows Oyster 4, they're going to get bigger, bringing more light into the boat. We're going to redesign the companionway, make it a bit more modern, a bit more open. And then there's going to be some nice tweaks in the cabins too. How many units of this model have been built? So the boat that we're standing on today is hull number 16 of this model. And we've already sold up to 25, so it's a very, very popular model. And we will produce four or five of these per year. Thank you very much, Steve. And so we also visited the Oyster 565. As you have seen, it is really a gorgeous boat. Now let's have a look at the XC47. The last stop of our tour is the home of Xyacht, a Danish shipyard. A shipyard that is famous and well known for building very, very fast boats, but nowadays also makes gorgeous cruising boats. It is precisely one of these that we are going to show you, the XT47, the latest model from X Yacht. To help me explain the boat I have here with me, Fabio Bafigi, the Italian importer of the X Yacht. Hi, Fabio. Hi, Maurizio. Thank you for visiting our stand here in Dusseldorf. Thank you for your hospitality. Fabio, this boat, as we said, is an XC, which means it is part of a cruiser range. Sure, this is the new model in X Yacht's cruiser range that is differentiated from the performance range used by the letter C in its name, which stands for cruising. This new model is going to replace the XCs that have been so successful, also in Mediterranean seas and our seas. The first model is a 47-footer. I say the first because there will certainly be more to come. So we are facing a new generation of these models. That's right. It is a completely new hull. Water lines have been designed from scratch, as well as the entire coach roof and the cockpit. It is a proper blue water cruising model. The yard's idea is to serve the segment of customers who wish to sail for a long time and spend much time at sea. To achieve this purpose, we had to create large volume below deck. We wanted a closed cockpit for those who like the feeling of protection given by a closed cockpit. Below deck, we wanted light and the possibility of looking out 360 degrees. So we created a semi-deck salon with large coach roof and hull windows. From the salon below deck, you can control what is happening around the boat. We would say almost 360 degrees. How many cabins and heads does this boat have? The boat has three cabins and two heads. It has a spacious salon with big seats and is split into two levels since the galley area is slightly raised while the actual salon area is slightly lowered. The special feature is that with this layout, all systems and tanks are under the floorboards in the central part of the boat to ensure visibility and straightening. And the weight is concentrated in the center. Sure, and that is always one of the keys to making our boat sail well. It is a cruiser, but still an ex-yacht, so a fast boat even though it's a cruiser. Like all ex-yachts, this is also a fast boat. With a remarkable sail plan, it is a boat that we have tested up to almost 30 knots with full sail and a feeling of safety, but also an effective response to variations impressed by the helmsman on the steering wheels. So we were always in control and sailing was always very smooth. Perfect. Thank you very much, Fabio. Thanks to you and have a nice day. And so we ended on a high note with a really gorgeous model. I hope you found this special video interesting. And if you did, don't forget to give us your like. I look forward to welcoming you to the next video with SVN Salovlinit.